A researcher at my last medical conference did us all a great favor and they popped up a slide about different heel heights and the amount of pressure put on the forefoot with varied heel heights. Increased pressure with a higher heel, obviously. So I found this to be very useful. If you watched my video about Tango shoe shopping, tips for Tango shoe shopping, or how to choose the perfect pair of Tango shoes, I talk about this. And so this, this graph really illustrates it well. Here is the cool graphic. So you can see the increase in forefoot pressure. If your foot's flat, that would be 0% forefoot pressure. One inch heel, 22%, two inch heel goes up to 57, and a three inch heel goes up to 76% more body weight on that forefoot. So you can see how decreasing your heel height, even by half an inch, three quarters of an inch or an inch, can reduce the pressure on your forefoot. So now that you know how much pressure is put on the forefoot with um, an increasing height of heel, if you are experiencing pain, maybe you should go down even half an inch in heel height. That will incrementally decrease the pressure on the forefoot. So you can make small changes to have a big impact. The other thing is it's not about putting more padding underneath the forefoot. The forefoot pressure remains the same regardless of padding underneath it. So really look at diminishing the heel height if you're having discomfort and pain.